Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Leo. He'll be he'll be reviewing my skills today. <laughs> welcome, cross watchers, and um, if you're brand new to the channel, hi. Come in the comments, say hello. Later on, I'll swing back around to properly welcome you. Um, we are past the peak of the full moon in Aquarius. It was kind of a doozy. We had some double T square action going, one fixed, one mutable. Um, and even though the slower planets are still kind of in those configurations, we're through the worst of it. So I hope, um... You're making, you're, make, you're making your way through all those intense energies of that blue super full moon in Aquarius. Woo! Glad to shake that one off. All right, I'm pulling from a whispers of love to get something to soothe our hearts. Here we go. Card number 32. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. And card 32, three and two is five. And um, numerologically speaking, in tarot, all the five cards are cards of change, things that are a little chaotic or, yeah, not the most pleasant energies, right? Five of wands, five of swords, five of pentacles. Um, yeah. So relationship patterns and recognizing change takes strength. Mm -hmm. Good message. Okay, so I'm going to pull the main spread, give you my general impressions as always, and we'll get the details in the clarifiers. Do keep in mind it's a general reading, not a private reading. Um, so just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If you're interested, whoops, in a private reading, there is a link below in the descri description box that will take you to my booking page for more details. Okay, here you go. Overall energy, page of swords, right? Curiosity, looking for some information. What's crossing you? Hierophant. Um, hmm. Could be about something within the commitment of your connection and underneath in your con unconscious awareness, the death card. Um, and that is a card of change. So that's very interesting. And it can be the endings of things, but sometimes what needs to be released so that the needed change can occur. Keep, keep that in mind. In the past, seven of pentacles. Maybe something that you've been waiting for the change. There's another five here, a five of wands. Something feeling a little, un, you know, chaotic. Um, some outside source of interference. And maybe eight of cups in the near future. Um, a need to either move, just move forward and leave something behind that doesn't serve you. Or it might be that it's time for you to go. So let's see. Page of Swords, Hierophant. Six of Swords, Justice card, King of Pentacles. It is, we are looking at something here where you're definitely wanting to kind of get beyond this turbulent time, right? The Six of Swords referencing here this there could be something that's distressing or dramatic or there could be some argumentative energy between you or just some kind of conflict that has arisen. And it's got your curiosity peaked. Maybe you've got a question. Is this person someone who um, really could be a life partner? Justice is letting me know that on some level it's causing some imbalance here that you just want to kind of move away from, um, right? You just kind of want to get beyond something that feels a little turbulent right now. Death card in your unconscious awareness. Eight of cups again. 
two of pentacles you're unsure wow so i am definitely talking to those of you who are on the fence or feeling torn uh, with a question in mind do i stay or do i go um and so like the, the the death card is like you're gonna need to see some change um and and you've been waiting for a while um and so your in internal reference here and your unconscious awareness is you're not sure you're on the fence i don't think you've made a decision but and i'm not seeing the decision making cards this is one of them but it it's not yet in your conscious awareness but it may be coming seven of pentacles When I say it's not in your conscious awareness, meaning that it's still percolating. Like you're aware that something doesn't feel right, but it's just percolating. Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups, Confusion. And see, there's another two buried in your unconscious awareness. So this is something that for a long time has been weighing on you, causing considerable uh, confusion, emotional overwhelm, lots of options to process, but the path forward has not been clear everything that's been before you has seemed um unclear uncertain very uh, emotionally um yeah i'm just seeing lots of tumult so the five of wands in your conscious awareness what you're dealing with front and center Mm. and so let's revisit when i pull from the bottom of the deck especially for those of you who are new i'm tapping into unconscious awareness something that's you know like i just said percolating it's part of your inner monologue as <laughs> you can hear some comedians like to say my inner monologue is saying but it's really it's what you're processing internally um, or it could also be something playing out behind the scenes. But in this case, it, it is, we have the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, past life soulmate energy, the path forward. And here the Ten of Pentacles is long, the long haul, right? The partnership long haul. It is talking about, you're, you're contemplating the future here. You know, that's what you're processing internally. And the problem is, you're not sure you're dealing with somebody who has the capacity to be mutually invested for the long haul. And it could just be that you've been waiting for this for a long time, but nothing's coming back. There's no real reciprocity. I will tell you that that was the theme of the full moon in Aquarius. So it's not surprising me that the first reading after that would be right on that, on the heels of that theme which I think, uh, you know, was titled um, The Ups and Downs of the, you know, the uh, In and Out, you know, the ups, what did I title that darn reading? Oh, now it's going to drive me crazy. Um, the Ups and Downs of the Give and Take of It All. Okay, that's what I titled the full moon in Aquarius reading. This is the give and take of it all. And here we see more than some ups and downs, right? With devil energy in between. And the devil energy just is coming through as something very stubborn. Something not too giving-ish. It is Saturn. This is Capricornian energy, which is ruled by Saturn. And there's like a powerful T-square that we're still in the energy of, although it has lightened up just a tad. And so I do feel that the drama here, the conflict here, the tension here, something that needs to change that you're kind of saying, I don't know, I don't know about this, is that if there's going to be any kind of potential life partnership, it has to be with somebody who can give as, as well as receive, that's prepared to be equally invested, that invests in the connection 100%. And you're not sure that you have that. And it may be kicking up some, you know, disagreeable energy. In the near future, Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands, 
Queen of Pentacles. So all the cards from the bottom of the deck, right? You, you, can, you can see what this looks like. That's like, that's the married couple. And, and we've got definitely some thoughts here. Um, and I'm almost seeing uh, in the near future what you don't want. You may not be clear on what, what's going to unfold here, but you know what you don't want is in and out, right? Someone who, um, you know, is only invested as far as it serves their interest in the moment and that acts on impulse and passion in the moment. So I feel that's what you're gonna leave behind. That's what you're gonna resist and defend against. Um, and that's where that sense of, oh no, I know my worth and value. And I know what it is I want for the long haul, is I, I, I do want commitment. I do want life partnership. I, I do want someone to walk with, you know, through life with, to build a life with. And so I feel in the near future that will become crystal clear. Right now you're still kind of page of swords is the spire detective of the tarot. So I feel you're still kind of trying to get all the details. You're still doing a little investigation. Um, but this has gone on for a while. And so it does seem like as things progress you're going to get ever more clear at least of what you don't want okay and that helps you determine what the terms are going forward all right so aries i'm catching you midstream here clearly but um i'm going to give you the astrology before i do that a uh, couple things uh i do want to look at the connection in more detail uh, let me get a message to you from this person, something they do want to say to you, and also to see what they're picking up from you at, at 5D. Like, what's the vibe you're putting out? I'll get you um, uh, a, a check-in from Spirit, hidden energies, what's happening behind the scenes with this person, especially since I see this. Um, and that hidden energy may be helpful and also how things might unfold. But for the connection, I want to look at what's working for you and what's not. We already kind of have an idea of what's not, but then we'll see what the opportunities might be before you make any rash decisions, especially with Mercury still retrograde. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in the extended and the links to that are below. And so before I do the astrology, if, if this reading has gotten your attention if it's resonated for you and you haven't already please do subscribe below help me continue to grow the channel that's the only way i can stay here um this is like my full-time gig it's what i do thank you in advance um, for your support of my work page of swords gemini libra aquarius hierophant is taurus we have um justice is libra king of pentacles is more taurus I like the Taurus energy. Um, death card, because it's like stable, grounded. Um, death card is Scorpio. We have the devil is Capricorn. We have more Capricorn and the queen of pentacles. A lot of earth energy here is what I mean by I like it. That's it. Um, for a fire sign, that's good. Uh, Knight of Wands is Sagittarian energy. Okay, <laughs> that's what I have for you. I am heading over to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.